What's going on YouTube? This is Versus Loco, the motherfucking horror cholo, and I'm back at it again with another video, another video. Um, it's been a while. I, uh, I'm actually recovering from being sick, um, so that's why it's kind of been a couple days since I did a video. I do have a lot of ideas, um, <clears throat> but as I'm getting a little bit better, kind of getting back in the mix, so I apologize if my voice sounds all fucked up. It's just because I'm sick. Um, but yes, I got an unboxing for you guys today. Um, I have two packages from Orbit DVD that I got. I have some other stuff coming. I was going to wait for that to do it all together, but I figured why not? Why not just make a couple smaller videos? <clears throat> so without further ado, let's dig right into the first package from Orbit DVD. Hope everybody is doing well out there. Orbit always packages their stuff pretty well. Um, last time we all seen that my shit came all messed up, but I think that was the post office fault, not theirs. Um, but yes, we have our receipt. All right, first up we have the Acid Kid. Um, this one is gonna be from Wild Eye. And this one I believe is a documentary about uh, yeah, it is a documentary. The tactics, the scare tactics. Oh yeah, so this was like uh, the the scare tactics from the satanic panic um, kind of that was going on. Um, so yeah, this actually I've heard is a really good documentary. So I'm very excited about checking this out. This is when they were saying, oh, that you're the devil if you listen to ACDC and all these type of things like that. So very, very excited to check this documentary out. Uh, man, I'm telling you, Wild Eye, who you guys are going to notice from my haul right now, <clears throat> Wild Eye is really doing some amazing things. Um, it's funny how far they've came from the DVDs that they used to um, release and stuff like that. It's 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 quite incredible. Um, but next up, we have uh, number... This is number four in the Visual Vengeance. Uh, this is going to be Suburban Sasquatch. I have been having a blast with these Visual Vengeance movies. It's funny because I always heard so many horrible things about them. Um, and I just have a blast with them. But I love shot on video movies. Um, and these ones are like even... There's a lot of production value that goes behind these these specific ones. You know, it's not boring. They're pretty action-packed. They have a lot of gore in them, a lot of effects, whether they look good or bad. There's a lot of effects. You know, I've seen a lot of uh, shot-on-video movies where, you know, it's almost like a normal movie where there's a lot of slow time, a lot of downtime, nothing happened, a lot of dialogue. And then, you know, once you get towards the end, you have that, that kind of... Uh, you know, that happening of where everything kind of happens. So these ones, I mean, they're pretty action packed all the way through. So if you like shot on video, I highly suggest um, you dig into these visual vengeance. I, I, I'm, I'm loving them, loving them. So with that being said, visual vengeance, this is number seven right here. And this is going to be Moonchild. <clears throat> this one I have not heard anything about. Um, so I'm very, very excited to check this one out as well. Awesome stuff. Yeah, man. Looks really fun. So that's it for the first package. Next up, we do have another package. And as you are going to see very shortly, it has a lot of similar content. Um, I loved, love this uh, label so much. I just said, fuck it. I have to own every single one of them. So I did. Last up, or no, next up, let me see, is that one? Yes. <clears throat> next up, this is going to be number eight of the Visual Vengeance, and this is Heartland of Darkness. Awesome stuff. Love these slipcovers, too. They do really, really good job. But these 
looks very interesting. Yeah, this one has Leanna Quigley in it, so <laughs> pretty crazy. What year did this come out? I don't know. Um, but next up, we have number six in the Visual Vengeance line, and this one, actually, what is this? Oh, yeah, so this is uh, Blood of the Chupacabra. Awesome stuff. Really awesome stuff. Very excited to dig into those. So now I own every single one of the Visual Vengeance. And like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying these so much that I think I'm going to start a new series. And I'm actually going to re uh, review every single one of the Visual Vengeance movies. So coming soon, you just heard it here, sneak peek. Um, I am going to be doing a new series and it's going to be going through all the Visual Vengeance titles. And I'm going to be doing a review for you guys. So yes. Um, next up, we have another one from Wild Eye. This is actually the last one, too, for today. Oh, actually, you know what? I have one more I could share with you guys. Um, but, uh, yeah, from Wild Eyes, and this is going to be Don't Fuck in the Woods Part 2. Um, I actually never seen Part 1, but uh, I know that uh, the homeboy Moods was always talking about it, and I believe he said that he um, liked the, uh, the first one. So I seen this one, I was like, damn, you know, I guess I'll just get this one, and then I will uh, search for the uh, Part 1. Um, but pretty cool. And with a title like that, how can you not want to own that? Don't Fuck in the Woods Part 2? Pretty good. Um, and then last up, I do have one that I got the other day from uh, eBay. And it really pisses me off that it has a stupid sticker on the slipcover. Um, it's going to be a pain in the ass to take it off. But we have the black phone. Figured why not. Let's get this one in the collection. And I actually rewatched and I actually liked it a lot better than I did the first time. Um, it's actually pretty dark for a mainstream film. Um, you know, it's not hella gory, but it really doesn't need to. It's pretty effective in the way that it is. Um, yeah, that, that sticker is a pain in the ass to try to get off to. I started to and I was like, ah, fuck it. Um, but yeah, that is what we have for this one. The money shot right there. So yes, now I have all the Visual Vengeance titles. And I will keep up to date on those from now on. Because I'm fucking loving them. Um, but yes, that's going to be it for this video right here. Um, catch you on the next one. Um, so yeah, I got like I said, been sick. Um, got a lot of stuff planned though. So, you know, more stuff coming to you guys very soon. I appreciate everybody out there. And I'm out of here.